I, I just want to say my name is uh, Ramiro Garza. I'm the mayor of Edinburgh, Texas. I just wanted to say that um, as mayors, a lot of us that are mayors, we actually have an alliance in South Texas mayor. The president went down to Brownsville, Texas. The mayor of Brownsville is here. You can make some comments. Uh, uh, and he asked us what needed to be done. Of course, we supported the bipartisan legislation that was trying to make its way, and it did not pass. And so part of why we were invited here is because he wanted to take action. And so we applaud him for taking action today because that's what this is. As mayors of communities, uh, we don't have the luxuries to, to wait or to do standoff. We have to take action, right? And so we appreciate and applaud the president uh, taking action today, as was mentioned uh, by my fellow mayor of El Paso. Uh, this does not obviously fix our entire system, but this is a step in the right direction to try to help us uh, cope with this issue. And I think... We still have a lot of work to do, but it's a very good start. Um, we're very thankful as a group that we had the opportunity to come speak with the president, Secretary Mayorkas, as we all know that the executive action taken today is only the beginning, as we don't have the resources that we really need. We don't have the total resources. And one thing that I, living at the border, I'm Oscar Lisa, and I'm the mayor of El Paso, Texas, and I live it every day. I'm there day in and day out. I was there when the trains came in. I was there when 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 people came on a daily basis. And it was really important to us to make sure that people got treated humanely. It was important that people had a place to sleep, that people were off the streets. We worked really hard to be able to do that. We had the, the support of Secretary Mayorkas, FEMA, and the President to be able to do that. I'm very proud to say that today we don't have people sleeping on the streets. We don't have people not being able to go to their destination. We've been working really hard, but this is only the beginning. We still need to have enough funding from Congress. We need to have a bipartisan agreement. And without a bipartisan agreement, we'll continue to struggle as a community. You cannot believe that we as a community will continue to be able to sustain for any long haul, for a long time. And we've been doing this now for years. I've been in office now for four years, and we've been doing this for four years. It's time that something happened. And I know that the president's tried, the president's continued to try to pass something to help us as a city, as a country, it's not happened. One of the things I'm, again, very thankful to the administration, they've given us the funding. It's not come to the back of the local taxpayers. You would bankrupt a city like El Paso, we couldn't do it. So it's very important that we continue to work together and find ways and avenues to be able to help the asylum seekers and move forward. This really puts people in order. One of the things that we were talking, what is this really doing? It's keeping people from dying in the desert, keeping people from jumping over the walls and falling. It's keeping people from being exploited as they come here. It really, the CBP-1 program that allows them to continue to apply to come into the U.S. and go through the lawful way is really important. We see it every day. We get the calls where we have to go out and the, we find people that unfortunately lost their lives in the desert, lost their lives going over the, the wall. And now it's time to really make sure that people go through the lawful way and continue to fill the CBP program. Once they do that, once it's accepted, they can go to work immediately. And that's one of the things we've asked. We've asked from the beginning that we want people to be able to work. We want people to be able to provide for their family. And if you're waiting for five years to be able to have a hearing, to be able to do that, that's not the way we want to do it. We want to do it in a way that people are humanly humanely respected. And that's one of the things that this will do for us. And I'm very thankful for the president. And again, this is only the beginning. And until we get a bipartisan agreement, we'll have a broken immigration process. The, the process is broken and this doesn't fix it, but it gives us an avenue to be able to take care of people. Hello, Norma Sepulveda. I'm the mayor of the city of Harlington. I'm also on the border and a member of the Alliance of Cities of South Texas. And I am here also in support of President Biden. President Biden, on day one, he, he put forth a comprehensive immigration plan for the American people, given opportunity to Congress to act. And when there was no inaction, he did what he did today and what was necessary. It's necessary to have an order to be able to treat people humanely and to be compassionate about the folks that are trying to come into our community, but also to do it in an orderly fashion. By no means does this executive order close the border. And so I think it's important that that is, is, is spread widely, that it is not closing the border, but it is giving a process for immigrants 
to use the CB1 app to be able to apply for entry into the United States. At no time will that not be available to folks, so it's important to remind people that this is not closing the border. This is giving an opportunity, as uh, the mayor from El Paso said, we don't want folks traveling to the United States and falling to their deaths, whether it be climbing the wall or swimming through the river, we want to avoid that and make sure that people have a legal pathway to the United States, and that's what this does. And so I'm honored to be here. It is a privilege. I think that this administration has done what no other administration has done, what is giving a voice to the people of South Texas. Everybody from South Texas is here to represent their cities and their communities because we want what's best for our community, and that is to spread the message that in South Texas, it is safe, we are thriving, we are a growing community, and we immigration is secondary to what is happening in South Texas. And so we are here to share that message. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, Mayor Ron Nuremberg from the city of San Antonio. Uh, again, grateful for the president for taking this step. This is not a Republican issue. This is not a Democrat issue. This is an American issue. And as our chair of the South Texas Alliance of Cities, Mayor Garza, just said, uh, we are on the front lines dealing with these issues every single day. Uh, a crisis uh, that has been just exacerbating cities because of the inaction of Congress. So grateful for the president taking a step in the right direction uh, to address the asylum process. A safe and orderly border is essential to a compassionate response in our immigration system. So again, thank you for uh, President Biden stepping in the void where con Congress could not. And uh, I'd like to introduce our sheriff of Bear County, Javier Salazar. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sheriff Javier Salazar with the Bear County Sheriff's Office in San Antonio, Texas. I'm privileged to be one of the few law enforcement officials invited here. And while I don't pretend to speak for every one of the 254 uh, sheriffs in the state of Texas, I can speak for my own county. I'm about, about 200 miles inland, and I do absolutely consider myself a border sheriff. This is all of our problem. Uh, in the state of Texas, but I see this as a, as a viable solution. I wholeheartedly support President Biden in this effort. Uh, I wholeheartedly supported the bipartisan uh, legislation that he tried to pass twice, and it was shot down. It was tanked solely for the purpose of political pandering uh, to one person that, that made sure that it didn't succeed because they were terrified to give the man a win. Uh, so this, I, as I see it, is a win for all of us. Uh, you know, I, I, we're seeing so many changes uh, as, as a result of this. We're all getting familiar with the, with the talking points of it, and I'm just thoroughly impressed with what I've seen thus far. Is it perfect? No, it's not a perfect solution, but I think it's a, a really good start that I think we should all absolutely give a shot to and continue to try to build on it as we continue to move toward a more uh, perfect process.